By the way, this is the unboxing video of the Nintendo Switch. Sorry, I didn't really give any sort of, you know, introduction. I just don't care about introductions right now. Hi, I'm Adam Greco, and welcome to Nerd Bits. Wow. So I'm gonna open it. Look at that beautiful box. Other than the box, I got a poster, which I will probably throw out. I got another Joy-Con controller. And Zelda. Hmm. Hi, I just picked up my uh, Nintendo Switch. I was just wondering, I didn't, I didn't get the uh, Switch Joy-Con charging dock, even though I, I paid for it. it oh. Okay, so that, that kind of confuses me. Uh, you, so you release a bunch of, um, you know, accessories, but yet they're not all released on the same day as the system is released. It just feels kind of choppy and a little confusing. Um, and I didn't even open anything yet, and I'm already a little confused on these things. Alright, so I have to wait 24 hours just to get uh, a charging dock that I probably won't use for a few days. Alright. That's weird. And I guess I gotta save all these receipts. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie to you. I assumed that this would look a little bit bigger. This is really small. This is the iPhone 7 Plus, which I'll show you this side, so I can see what I'm looking at. And then compared to the Nintendo Switch, it's literally just a little bigger. It's really not that much wider. Man, playing a game on this must must be interesting. All right, so that's that. Joy Cons, which are right here. Which, if you have Amiibos, uh, this is great because apparently you can use the sensor to scan the Amiibos. Which, for me, I didn't. I never got into the Amiibos. So, for all those who collected Amiibos, you're a step ahead of the game. They feel pretty comfortable. Um. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's very different. Um, I can't imagine playing Mario Kart on this little tiny thing. This is going to be very frustrating. I, I feel like I feel like a grown man with uh, one of those little tiny uh, Razer phones from Motorola. You know, the ones that were like really tiny. Um, wow. This is um, obscure. I guess it's something that you're gonna have to get used to. Uh, the rails on the side slide in to the sides of the screen, which I'll be doing in a little bit. And it apparently locks in all right. I'm gonna try it out. That's one of my main concerns is how well it locks in. The thing with the storage on the system is the storage only has 32 gigabytes. To put it into perspective, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is 13.4 gigabytes. All right. And this is the rest of the controller. Hmm. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay, do I have it upside down? No, I don't have it upside down. Am I doing it wrong? Uh, ooh, that was a very satisfying click. Can you hear that? This is a very obscure controller. I don't know. It looks like I got a, a new coffee table. Look at this. It's ch ch chubby and thin. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not that hard to, to engage and disengage it. I mean, these, are, these controllers aren't exactly the most satisfying and comfortable controllers I've ever touched. I'm a huge fan of PlayStation, but I have to say that the Xbox really nailed it with the, you know, the feel of the controller. Sorry. 
I don't know the technical term for that. Charging dock, I guess? I don't know. But that's... This is what holds the screen. And then you wire the HDMI cable to this and to the TV. And then that's it. Like, there's no system. The screen is the system. Which I find to be pretty interesting. Forget it. It's an HDMI cable. And this plugs into... Oh, uh, look at that. There's really not much to this system. That's a two wires, a controller, a dock. Let's see how the screen looks. I didn't really want to take this out, but I'm going to. I have to say that is pretty cool. Um, using this as uh, the system that it is right now. Right now, the way the system is being held right now, it, it feels very comfortable. Um, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. Uh, I feel like this is more comfortable than just the Joy-Cons alone or the Joy-Cons with the uh, part of the controller. And, and the way that it engages and disengages is very simple. Um, are you in there, bro? All right, to uh, disengage when it's in the port, uh, not so cool looking. <laughs> so it's funny, I actually panicked for a second. I thought that there's nothing in here. Um, as you can tell, they're very tiny. It's like uh, almost the same size as the uh, Nintendo 3DS. Wow, we are going backwards. Okay. We're now using uh, game cards, which I think is pretty cool. I'm all about uh, tangible items, so this I, I can really go for. It's kind of got like that retro throwback feel. Like I said before, the system has 32 gigabytes. If you are someone who uses the internal storage, you're looking at 13.4 uh, gigabytes of storage use when playing uh, the new Zelda game, which is almost half of, if half and half of, yeah, it's like half of the storage. So uh, you're gonna wanna get a mini SD card. They have 80 titles, 80, blah, 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 blah. they have 80 titles being published right now, but only a few select games are actually out. I really wish that Rare existed still, because man, what would make this system killer is if they had Perfect Dark, Donkey, Donkey Kong Country, Banjo-Kazooie, just all those great games. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Everything. And especially like F-Zero X. What happened to F-Zero X? What's this knockoff game that we have? What is that? That's not F-Zero X. I want that game. One huge flaw is there's no virtual console even set up yet, so if you're gonna go on, don't expect to see a virtual console already. There's not. The digital console will not be released during launch, you know, because what's good is to just release half a system. We have the tangible system, but let's just kind of work through the virtual console. Because that doesn't need to be on time. Why would it need to be on time? It also doesn't include uh, any streaming services yet. Uh, I know the Wii and the Wii U, uh, they had Netflix and whatnot. I think it's more of a work in progress. This is something that's going to take a while, so, you know, it's not going to happen right away, but it's going to happen eventually, I'm sure. And that's really it. I mean, I would open up the other Joy-Con, but as you saw, the other Joy-Con's already... I'm going to hook it up later today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you're curious about something, did you get the Nintendo Switch? Did you not get the Nintendo Switch? Do you think it's worth the money? Um, <clears throat> these are all very good questions, and uh, honestly, to me personally, I don't think it's worth uh, the money. I think it's, I, I panicked because it was more of uh, what happened with the NES Classic Edition where everyone was getting it, and now it's so hard to get. And I had what is called a... Uh, Mofo. Is it called Mofo? Or FOMO? It's FOMO, not Mofo. Mofo is something else. FOMO. Uh, FOMO is uh, fear of missing out. I saw it on a video and it was pretty interesting. It's, it's true though. It's FOMO is fear of missing out. So, you know, you give a limited supply of something and then everyone feels like they're missing out on it. So everyone goes crazy and bananas and goes to midnight releases like I did. So, with that being said, I got the case of the FOMOs. But, but these launch titles, it's, I kind of think that's like cliche to just kind of pump out these titles as fast as they can. Launches aren't usually that great. They're kind of predictable. They just have one, two heavy hitters and that's it. Uh, so no, I don't think it's worth the money. I, I, if, I wish there was like an unlimited supply of these things and I would just get it whenever I feel like there's enough games uh, to enjoy. If it were up to me personally, I would wait till Mario Kart 8 and Mario... Super Mario Odyssey came out because at least I know those games are out. 
your vanilla Mario Odyssey. I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Tom, who in this picture is the huge guy on the left. Uh, a quick shout out because he literally waited 12 hours because he didn't pre-order his system. Good job, Tom. But you know what? <laughs> you, uh, you, you, uh, you waited. And I think uh, you, you deserve getting that switch. <laughs> You're crazy. You really are crazy, though. I wouldn't do that. Feel free to leave some nitty gritty in the comment section below. And if you like this video, click right here to like. And if you want to show your support, click right here to subscribe. And for all your current movie news and reviews and every bit of nerdy information, keep it right here at NerdBits.